Hey, it's Justin with Seaboard Marine here. In this video, we're doing the feed trial of the Sea Harvester. There she goes. Sea trial day. Harvester Sea Trial Day. Just got it off the trailer. We're gonna dump it in and uh, get it ready to go. Well, it doesn't have a speed prop on it. It has a work prop. I think at this weight, she's gonna be between 27 and 30 knots wide open throttle. But the long term is we're shooting for a 17 knot cruise with a lot of weight on the boat. Okay. You know, get it up on plane. And before it just couldn't do that couldn't, with- Couldn't the... even get up on plane. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that's what we're shooting for. Same engine, just more prop, more yep. efficient. Yep. So, Bigger prop. Bigger prop. Grabbing bigger. more water. Three, three times the blade area, yeah. four times. Attractive force. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's, well, hopefully it makes it count. We want to hit the governor on this engine, which is possibly, potentially 3,100 if we're really light. Okay. The hydraulics get too get get too hot. We just open it up a little bit. Oh, is that everything that's going through the hydraulic uh, that heat is, exchanger? That is correct. Okay. The entire water going through the hydraulic. So not much right now. Right. So the hydraulic right. power to deck pump. Right. This is the deck pump switch, uh, but to go in, when you go in reverse, uh, we don't want to. You could uh, burn up the impeller. We didn't want to burn up the impeller by inadvertently hitting reverse. So if you hit reverse, you have to also hit this deck pump reverse button, which latches a relay on, and then it'll go in reverse. And then if you go back into forward or off, this relay unlatches, and anytime you go to reverse, you have to hit the button again. So this is new, right? We added this. Yeah. It down to the bottom. He wants you to drop down to the bottom. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. Hold it there. Let her down. Not some rope. Stop it. Cut. That's it. Little you bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. You see a little bit more scope on it. Ha, ha, ha. 
sure. We had a 50 50 chance. Let's see where this baby idles at. You might want to mess with the tool belt. We're doing four knots now. Okay. It's still a decent harbor speed. Should have cleaned the windows, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's been a long process, that's for sure. And you should have some good years of trouble-free operation now. Yeah. Long right. process throughout the right. whole west coast of the United States. Dang it. <laughs> it sucks. I feel for you, man. Washington to Southern California now. About the same idle speed as before. I think this is uh, slower than before. Slower. It was, that old, that freaking Dua prop had a crazy fast idle speed. Yeah, okay. Really? Yeah. You can live with this. Yeah. 4.4 4 knots. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Island tack. Did we repower this boat? Oh yeah. Twice. We've re we've repowered that boat twice.
what you're what you're what you're smelling is the wrap. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's gonna do. It's gonna smell really nasty for a few on both sides. Yeah. So, um, how did that how did that compare to before? Felt really good. Real smooth. The, uh, tell me what, how to get to fuel oh, yeah. fuel consumption gallons per hour. Is that it right there? No, that's oil. Get to GPH. I don't know this display at all. That's how we're going to know how hard they're working and how much, right. if you got any horsepower left. Got left. Yeah, if you got any horsepower it left on the right table. to the governor. I mean, yeah. instant. Didn't even phase it. Which is what we were looking for. Right. 22, 22.30, 16 and a half knots, and 10 gallons an hour. That's, that's 200 horsepower right there. That's like half load. table which is what we wanted although we're not super light because we've got five fat guys on the boat <laughs> and uh that's not me <laughs> so I, I expect i expect the boat's gonna do just what he wants we're gonna be able to put a lot of weight on the boat and still get our 16 17 knots which he couldn't do before so we're in good shape we're in good shape Excellent. everything seems to be pretty smooth a little bit of a little bit of maybe cavitation at a certain speed faster or slower it's okay but I think as soon as we get another 3,000 pounds on the boat that's all gonna change that's all gonna change the, the thing is we're under prop it's smooth it's quiet and it handles really well it turns a little too sharp when you crank it over I was burying the cap rail there a little bit backed off so she handles good she'll only back to port which is what we expected with a big right hand prop so he, all his all his work and docking needs to base it on he's only gonna go uh, back when he puts it reverse he's gonna back to port which is which is what you want when you pull gear because you pull gear on the starboard side so you always want to back away from your gear when you're reverse so we're in good shape we're in really good shape he's happy he says the boat's definitely faster than it was with the out drives <laughs> and definitely more responsive so all right you can't do better than that that's it and you can't break it <laughs> 